Hi, so welcome to lesson three. You made it. Congratulations. Uh, this lesson is where things, I think, really start to get exciting. I'm going to show you how you can take those uh, simple things that we learned in lesson one and lesson two and expand on them uh, and show you really how limitless, just learning a few simple chord patterns and, you know, where a few simple melodies on the piano, uh, how limitless it is. Okay, so uh, just to review... Uh, go ahead and get your keyboard if you're not there already. We're going to talk about that chord pattern that we learned in lesson one um, real quick. So remember finding middle C, right? We find C by finding the two black notes. Hopefully these past few days you spent some time and have found all of the C's or all of the G's, right? All of the A's. Anyway, I'm not doing it in order or anything, but just make sure you go through and recognize what a D looks like or what an E looks like, um, and know all of these white notes and where they are on the piano. So what we're going to do is, if you guys remember that pattern that we talked about in lesson one, where you find middle C here, and you're going to play it with your pinky, and then we're going to build a chord. Now we build a chord by skipping a note, playing the next one, skipping a note, playing the next one, and this is the chord pattern that we covered in lesson one. The C chord, and then all the way down to the G chord, up to the A minor chord, we'll talk about why it's minor later, and then down to the F major chord. So these are the three chords uh, that we're covering, C, G, A, and F. Okay, hopefully that makes sense to you. Um, and remember all the songs that we can play when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Or sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. And again, make sure you know keep your fingers on the piano. I'm just doing this to, to show you so my fingers don't get in the way here. Uh, but uh, so I'll keep my fingers on the piano now that you've seen it. Sometimes I feel like I don't have a partner. Or um, I take no more, no more, it cannot wait, I'm yours. Okay, so the same pattern, uh, C, G, A, F, if I go fast, that was too fast, sorry. Um, we're going to do the same pattern, but now we're going to start in the middle instead of starting at C. So what we're going to do is we're going to start on A, okay? And then go to F, right, because F comes after A, then go to C, and then go to G. And it's all the same chords, and it's actually the same order of the same chords, uh, but now we're just starting uh, someplace different. So if we do that, we can play, What's going on in that beautiful night? I'm on your magical mystery ride. I got my head spinning, no. I can get you down. Um, and uh, lots of other songs like that. Let's reverse the order one more time. And, uh, and instead of going to F, we're going to go up to C. All right, so this is actually just taking these same four chords and putting them in a little bit different order. So instead of going uh, C, G, A, F, we're going to go A, C, G, F. And this song is, Hello, it's me. I was wondering if after all these years you like to meet. Right? Same four chords. So like I said in, in the other, in lesson one, these four chords have really been used uh, to write hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs in the last 20 years. So if you memorize and you can play these four chords and you can memorize some patterns, you can play so many songs. You can sing along uh, with what you're doing. And ju just like in lesson two, if you don't want to sing, you can play the melody. And most of the notes are going to be with these three right here, C, D, and E. So I'll show you how to do that. Really just playing the melody with these only these three notes right there. Most of hello. Same 
four, uh, same four chords and same three notes uh, over and over and over. Now, of course, there is more. Uh, there is more to it. Like for instance, in um, when we go to the chorus of this one. fancy and I'm doing stuff, uh, crazy stuff, right? And the melody changes, right? It goes to a different part on the piano. Um, but, you know, really at, at the bass, a lot of the song is based on those three notes. Uh, the chords that I was playing on my bottom hand are actually the same. If I play it simpler. So if you do go to the chorus, uh, the chords are really still the same. Now she switches the pattern. So instead, uh, we go back to that same pattern as all of me. So instead of going, um, she goes. Same four chords, again. So, you know, like I said, really there's so, so, so many songs that you can uh, learn with a simple chord pattern. So um, I'd like to tell you guys uh, now about how you can take this to the next level. So uh, this is kind of an introductory course, right? We've, go, we've gone over some things. We've gone over, you know, chords, uh, melody, and you know really what's possible, but you've also seen me do a lot of fancy stuff on the piano. this in, in some of my emails, but I'm accepting 25 students right now to enroll in my course, uh, Play Piano by Ear. Um, and the way that I teach this, so a lot of people get scared when they hear, oh, Play Piano by Ear, like, how, how in the world do I do that? Aren't you supposed to be born with that? Actually, you know, not really. And the reason that uh, people can play the piano by ear with this method that I teach is I just teach you you know, the most basic chord patterns that are used in all songs, and then I help you to pick out the difference between them. So that when you hear a song on the radio, uh, you can know what order those chords are in. And just by, you know, learning this, learning those chord patterns, it's really like that easy. Uh, in this course, I know you're like, oh wow, you're playing tons of notes on the piano. So in this course, the other thing that I do um, is I show you how how to fit those chords together. Now, I'm getting fancy, but like you guys saw in that video, if you haven't seen this video on my student Vlad, go back, I think I sent it uh, yesterday in an email, watch it, because this kid is amazing. He's been studying for like three months and yeah, I've been playing for years and using this method, you can kind of play uh, really similar to the way I play. Uh, you know, I still got some stuff to teach him and stuff, but, um, but it's great. And he did it all on his own uh, using this course. So I'm super proud of that and really proud of him. Um, so what I wanted to do, guys, is uh, just leave you, I'm going to give you a PDF with the order of uh, the chords in All of Me and the order of the chords in Hello. And I'm going to give you some songs underneath those that you can also go and listen to and, and practice. Um, so, um, so, and it's too What's the, what's the note? It's too late to apologize. There it is. Apologize. It's too late. Said it's too late. I, can, I mean, I could go on and on all night. I've only shown you two or three songs uh, in this video, but I'd like to provide you with some more that you can listen to, at, you know, and try and figure out on your own. So I'll be really excited. Uh, to, I'll tell you more about it uh, as the days uh, go on. I've had, I've had a few successful groups of students come through. I usually take about 25 at a time. I don't like to accept more than that. 
uh, you know, I have a wife, I have a job at a university, I have a kid, and I basically just kind of view it as a private project, uh, another class that I teach, um, and that I teach online at a university. So anyway, if, if you've always wanted to uh, be able to play piano and be able to play it well, um, I, hope, I hope you've enjoyed uh, these demonstrations and have gotten a lot of value out of these uh, three lessons that I shared with you. Um, but you know, like I said, this is really just the beginning of what you can accomplish. Um, I will send you some, you know, some testimonials of some students who have taken my classes both in college um, and who have taken my private uh, classes online. And they're killing it these days. They're writing songs uh, and they are sitting down at the piano after they've heard something a couple times and they're able to pick it out and play it. Um, so guys, that's about it. I will see you in a couple days uh, when enrollment starts. And uh, again, email me if you have any questions, and I'm happy to help. Thanks. Thanks.